This is Rob Teeter from Teeter's Telescopes. Uh, we have uh, some of our solid tube series telescopes here, or STS telescopes that we call them, uh, here on display at our workshop. Uh, we have an 8 inch uh, here. This is our F5.7 8 inch uh, with the uh, cherry stain, brass hardware, uh, feather touch focuser, a Rigel quick finder, and a Stellar View 9x50 finder on that one. Um, we also have a 10 inch next to it here, uh, also in cherry, but with our, uh, our nickel plated or our silver um, uh, hardware package on there with the corner protectors, the nuts and bolts on there as well. Uh, that one features a moonlight uh, dual speed focuser, uh, tell red, and also a, another stellar view finder on there as well. And then next to the 10, we also have an 11 inch uh, shown here. This is an 11 inch, uh, this one's F4.5. Uh, the 10, by contrast, is an F5, uh, so the 11 is an F4.5, uh, but this is in our maple stain, uh, so a lot lighter, uh, totally different flavor of stain on this one, uh, it's quickly becoming one of our more popular stains, a nice change uh, from the brass um, and, uh, and cherry stain over there. Uh, and this also has the black hardware package on here, as we can see, uh, along with the Moonlight Focuser and the Telrad. So I just want to go over a couple quick things here that really make the uh, our uh, STS telescopes, um, you know, valuable in this industry and, and how they really fit a niche. Um, so we have here on this one, we'll use the 10 inch as the model uh, to show off here. Uh, we have the hinged tube cradle. So the tube cradle is the cube uh, wooden box here that goes around the tube assembly. Uh, on this side, it's got latches. It's got two latches on top. And then on this side, it has a hinge running down here. So the tube cradle is actually split all the way down the middle. What this allows is for the tube to be slid back and forth and rotated. So for example, we could unlatch these two latches here. And with a little bit of pressure, one hand in the back, one hand on the front, we could slide the tube back. But we would do that if we were using a heavy eyepiece and needed to to counterweight the telescope so that it balanced with the large eyepiece in there. Or if we were going back to a lighter eyepiece, we would just do the opposite. We would put a hand back here on the tube and a hand up here, apply some pressure, and push the tube forward to essentially change the balance point. Uh, this also allows us, like I said before, to rotate the tube. So if we take both hands and rotate the tube, uh, we can then change the angle of the eyepiece, uh, which is better than for uh, younger kids that want to use the telescope that are a little bit shorter, we can rotate the eyepiece down to them or rotate the eyepiece up uh, for taller people looking through the telescope. Uh, but you have that option with the STS. So it allows you to rotate the tube and slide it back and forth to find the optimal balance point. And we can rotate it back here and then simply close those two latches and you're ready to go. There's no other uh, buttons or any, any hardware or anything to press or push or tighten or loosen beyond those two uh, latches right there to move the tube around. Um, and then once it's latched into place, uh, it's stage where you put it doesn't slide um, on its own. Uh, one other thing I wanted to mention here about the STS telescopes that we have, uh, we'll come over here to the 11 inch, is the uh, new mirror cells that we're using here. These are uh, machined aluminum mirror cells, so they're uh, optimized to fit the 11 inch, 10 inch, and 8 inch mirrors. So it's not like we're putting the 11 inch mirror in a 10 inch cell. This cell is optimized for the 11 inch mirror. Uh, and it's a six point flotation mirror cell. Uh, the, um, uh, there's also a cooling fan built in back here, uh, a 12 volt in port, and an on off switch here to turn the fan on and off. Uh, so this is all standard equipment. Everything that we've talked about here so far, uh, standard equipment on every um, STS solid tube series telescope that we sell, uh, the 8, the 10, and the 11 inch that we have here. Um, so we really hope uh, that you give the STS line a look and some consideration if this is something that you're interested in, uh, in terms of a uh, high quality upgrade to a more mass produced um, imported telescope that's similar in aperture. Uh, but these are optically and mechanically uh, superior to those. So we hope uh, that you uh, keep these in mind.